Hey guys, just before this video starts, just want to let you know that my sponsor has a fantastic incentive going on at the moment. If you know a haulier that's interested in getting drivers, click the link down below, refer them to my sponsor, and if they sign up, you will receive 100 pounds. 100 quid. <laughs> click the link down below, refer the haulier, get 100 quid if they sign up. That's brilliant. Just grab my ID. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the MAN. <laughs> That's uh, something that Kev T would normally say, but Volvo instead of MAN. <laughs> um, hello, good morning. We're, uh, we're on the uh, flatbed, more specifically the, the step frame flatbed. And how provide from the gate, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, we're on the step frame flatbed. I'm a little bit concerned today because, uh, as mentioned in the previous vlog, we're doing the port cabins again. But with the step frame, you can't get 40 foot containers on. And I have a funny feeling that at some point today, I'm gonna to need to put a 40 foot container on, which is uh, annoying, because that means either I'm gonna to have to find some blocks to level it up a little bit, or have a massive overhang. So I'll have to do some research on what overhang you can have. I think it's like two meters or something before you need an escort. So as long as it isn't over two meters overhang, we'll be all right. I'll have to double check on that though, because I'm not 100% sure. So don't take my word for that. <coughs> but yeah, today, uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing. We're making our way towards Perton Recycling Center. Apparently there's a portal cabin place around there. Got to get loaded. I believe I'm taking that to Wantage. Um, and then from Wantage, I think I'm going to Fairford, which, at the moment, I'm assuming is RAF there because they just had the air tattoo. So maybe we're t going into there and taking out the port cabins. Uh, and then from, apparently we're taking that then to Aldermaston. Right, what's going on, on up here? What is going on? I cannot pass you. Get moving. Get moving, 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 moving. I don't think he's parking up any. Yes. Gonna say thank you. Right, yeah, so what I just said. Cabin to Wantage, then to Fairford to pick one up, go to Aldermason, I think, or somewhere near the Aldermason. That is subject to change. Well, all of it is subject to change. Um, I believe I'm meeting a driver at this place we're going to, which is literally just around the corner, and then we're going to go from there. However, in the last video, last time I was uh, told to meet a driver there for a certain time, he was uh, already in, already in and loaded, and I was sat outside just waiting. <laughs> so this time I think I'll park up outside and walk on in and actually have a look. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we've got, we've got to find the place first. Um, we've got to go into Perton Recycling Centre, which I've been in there before, turn right, and then apparently it's up there somewhere. So I think it's called Pickerings. I've, I've done work for Pickerings before in the past. This is gonna be tight for, no, it's all right. I thought it was gonna be a lot tighter then. Yeah, so I've done work for Pickerings before in the past, so I know what they look like. I've done vlogs for, for Pickerings in the past. Okay, this will be tight with him. So I'll stop here before it goes tight. Well, I recognise them then, no, I don't. Thought that's someone I used to work with. Ah, country lanes, country lanes. Where I live, right, there's a, there's a company, a bus company that operates out of there. 
and uh, I got caught behind one of the coaches on the way to work this morning so what would normally only take five minutes actually took like 10 to 15 minutes just because I got so slow behind the coach <laughs> going down all these country lanes so I wasn't best pleased but never mind gotta put up with it sometimes don't you right anyway let's crack on to this place we're going to I'll see you there Spoke to the guy, he said go straight in. And then he's gonna try and uh, load me himself, by the sounds of it. So I'll go in and park next to him. I might have to spin round. Or can I go all the way round? I think I can go all the way round actually. Let's try it. Oh, I'll just wash my truck. I don't really want to be going in puddles. I've literally just washed my truck. <laughs> this morning. <clears throat> there we go. It's, oh. He's just on the left, so we're just going to park next to him on the right hand side. Here, load me and uh, get crack a lack in. I'm assuming the one he's got in him, on him, no, the one that he's got on him is not gonna be on me because he's already strapped up. There we go. Right, let's get loaded. Okay, we're loaded. Just going back so the guy can go in front. We're gonna follow him. We've got exactly the same on as he's got. Uh, only rather, on a, not on a rigid, it's on a, on a truck. I didn't ask him if he's running with beacons on or not. We are, again, slightly wider than normal. If I see him put his beacons on, I'll put mine on. But yeah, well, no, we are going to Wantage, me and him. Uh, there's a chance that uh, when we're there, well, before we get there, we might need to park up uh, again because the site might be too busy. Uh, and then after that, apparently I'm going to Fairford on my own, I believe, to pick something up. So, uh, yeah, that'd be fun. But yeah, for now, we're just going to follow this guy. I didn't catch his name. But uh, we're going to Chalo, near Wanted, so we're going to be going via the A420. Um, there's actually a low bridge. I th I'm right. <laughs> I'm assuming he'll be alright. <laughs> I'm right because I know I can get under it and uh, my port cabin is on the step frame so it's lower than what he is. Yeah, we, we'd be good. Ah, but yeah, we're just going to crack on now to this site. Um, 
And apparently the, the thing we're picking up from Fairford is going to Alton um, and, and not Older Mason like I previously said. But one of these are going, I think this, these two, the one going to Wantage is going to some sort of Muslim festival apparently. So, ah, he's got beacons on now. I forgot to turn my beacons on at the back of the trailer, which is kind of bugging me. The beacons that he's got on, look. It's actually bugging me a little bit. I've got, not got his number to say stop either. So, oh well, we we'll just have to carry on. Not an awful lot I can do about it. Ba, 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 ba. Our bus was very kind to let me out and so was the car. These roads are quite tight so uh I want to try and stay with him so people ain't got to keep stopping twice. People can just stop once then, do you know what I mean? So, I'm going to try and catch up with him and stay caught up with him as well. <laughs> right, I think a time lapse is in order. See you a little bit closer. So he did say, the guy in front, that if we were going to pull over somewhere, we were going to pull in, a, pull in on a lay-by in the A420. And we're, uh, well, we're well past the A420 now. We're on the A1, uh, A417. Um, and we're only a mile and a half away from the site. So I'm assuming we're going straight into the site. <laughs> I'm assuming. Time will tell. <laughs> um, you may recognize uh, up ahead is where I deliver to in uh, Wantage. Bill Base Wantage is just up here on the left. Which is where I deliver to a lot. It's quite funny seeing vehicles move out the way for him, come back out into the road and then see me and have to move again. That's why I, I like to stick as close to him as possible so they don't have to come back out. Yeah, Bill Base just there on the left and normally deliver there. One of our drivers probably went there today actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to unload me and then I just crack on to the next job. I think he said he's got the paperwork, I'm not sure. It's just one of those days at the moment where, like, I don't know what's happening. I'm just doing as I'm told. <laughs> I do that every day, really. Just do as I'm told. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, approaching the site now. I'm not 100% sure where the entrance is. I can have hazard a guess. I'm pretty sure he doesn't know either, so it could be a case of uh, waiting on the road temporarily. But I'm pretty sure it's on the left. 
go around this bend. There's a left-hand bend coming up. Go around there, and then it's on the left, I believe. Du -du -du. All clear. That car's given lots of room, thank you very much. It's very nicer than that was. Ah, oh, he nearly fell off his bike, didn't he? Ah, oh, look, there's a site here, look. So I reckon it's got to be this site, isn't it? No, he's gone past it. Maybe it isn't this site. The guys there are looking at us. Yeah, we're going left here. Bit of a tight turn. Delivery holding point and a wait. Oh, there's a holding point. All drivers, delivery, all deliveries to proceed to delivery holding point and a wait instruction. Windows are staying up here because it's quite dusty by the looks of it. Where are we going, mate? Oh man, I can smell the dust even though the windows are shut. Going back. Is he reversing in? doing then he wants me to drive up there and reverse in it's gonna be tight though apologies if the seatbelt sound comes on now but uh, obviously I need to be able to see what I'm doing Really annoying. I can't really have the window work because uh, window down. Sorry, because of the dust. Just want to get out and actually have a look a sec. So uh, mine's coming off last, so uh, I don't have to go in just yet. But I am gonna, just going to line myself up ready to try and reverse in. Although it is actually going to be tight. Right, everyone's wearing a hard out, so I better put mine on. Let's go see what's happening. Right, porter cabin is off. We've now got to try and get out of here. We're very tight. Got to do a right hand turn. I have to take it as wide as I literally can. that post there I'm worried about. Ah, we look good. So, plan is now 
go to Fairford. Uh, yeah, go to Fairford. I can't do anything there until he comes because he's going to Fairford as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be in for another wait today because I've got the window down. It's got all dusty now. Yeah, I'm going to be in for another wait, at least an hour on site waiting for him to turn up because he's got to put mine up now that he's just got, I uh, just dropped off. Then he's got to go back to his yard and pick up a trailer to go on the back of his uh, class two unit. So it'll be a wagon drag. Um, oh, this is going to be really hard to get out of here. No one seems to want to let me out! Clear right. Clear left? Question mark? Yes. Yeah, so uh, he's got to go to his yard and get uh, a trailer to go on the back of his uh, unit, so it'll be a dragon wag. Uh, I don't need anything. We're, apparently we're picking up three 12 foot containers, so that's going to be 36 foot in length. Which is fine. I'll have one on the top bit, two on the back bit, and there would be no overhang, so that's going to be fine. We've got to pick them up from RAF Fairford, so that is literally the air tatty we're going to be going to next. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be allowed to film in there. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. If there's no sign saying no filming, then you know what I mean. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, the quickest way there, I think, is going to be um, from Wantage, Farringdon, then Letchlade and get there that way, but he's saying go A419 because uh, he's not sure what the traffic's going to be like. So, A419 via Izzy Manor Quarry, which I used to work at quite a lot. So, do I listen to the professional who does it all day, every day, or do I listen to what I know my boss is going to say <laughs> and go the quickest route? <laughs> I don't know, I might just, I might just go by A419. Why not? So yeah, let's uh, make our way there. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Let's get moving. over a mile away now from the destination we need to go to gate G which I believe is around the left-hand bend then we turn right and it's just on the left I think but there are yellow signs out saying gate G so we should be all right obviously when we get there I may need to turn the cameras off so if the cameras do turn off all of a sudden then you know I wasn't allowed to film <laughs> I don't think I will be allowed to film got my wallet there just in case I need it I expect I'm going to need to sign in get a photograph taken and all this gets searched because it's essentially it's an RAF base so yeah we're nearly there now um, yeah I'm gonna have to try and get on site park up have a break wait for matey boy to come and then um, go from there really I got three being put on me I think he's probably got three being put on him so I expect we'll be there for an hour at least once he turns up and then we've got to take it to Alton, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a two hour drive. Would have thought. But yeah, there's a few, uh, few lorries coming this way and camper vans and things like that. So I'm assuming most of them are coming from Fairford. The, uh, the air tattoo. Diversion right, road ahead, closed access only. That's cool, I want to go this way. Right, where's gate G? I think it's right. And then it's on the left, I think. 
Yeah, it is. There's, the sat nav is telling me to turn left. But like I said, I think it's around here and then on the left hand side. Where that lorry is coming out of. Yes, it is. Speak to Mr. Military Man. Morning, mate. Where are you going? I don't know. I gotta pick up some porter cabins. That's all I know. Straight up. Yep. And then pull it around to the left and then see where you need to go. Sweet. All right, cheers, mate. Just grab my ID. Right, we're loaded. We've got three porter cabins on, and we're now following the third different driver. And we're getting out of here. Now, uh, the one I was following before got lost coming in, and uh, we ended up having to turn around. But one of the reasons we had to turn around was because it was a really tight hand turn. Need that. Sorry, my pass was hanging out the door then. So we've got to take a really tight left-hand turn in a sec, and I might not be able to make it. We're gonna have a go, unless he goes right, in which case I'll follow him. But there is then an 18 ton weight limit. So, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see which way he's gonna go. I think he's gonna go uh, uh, right by the looks of it. That is tight. Made it. We're gonna go this way then. This is the way the weight limit is. But there's not a lot else we can do about that. We're gonna to have to head this way towards Sirencester, so be it. Let's, uh, let's close my sunroof. Man, it is so hot. It is like proper, proper boiling hot. even keep up with him he's gone shamoked me <laughs> yeah like you said either way he'll meet me there so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and keep up with him I can't break hard because I haven't got a headboard on so I don't want to break hard and uh, smash my cab up this is the 18 ton weight limit now and it goes quite tight in a sec Would like to keep up with him just while we go through the tight bit. Yeah, we have to go through this uh, weight limit because it's the only way we can get out. She's shaking her head. They just don't understand. This is literally the only way we can get out. We've been to the Air Tattoo Festival, taking out supplies. We're too big to make that left-hand turn. We can't get out that way. We've got beacons on, and that, that lady was shaking her head. It really annoys me when they shake their head like that. So I know we're not supposed to be down here, but we have to. There is no other way for us to go. We've got to try and take this space up quickly before a car comes down here from the right or the left like that. I 
like I said, beacons are on and everything. I'm trying to take it slow and steady, but cars just want to speed around corners. Not good. Anyway, that's the hardest bit done. Uh, just got to crack on now to uh, towards Alton where we're going. See you there. Okay, you join me two hours later. Two hours later. Uh, we're about four miles away from where the uh, postcode has taken me on my sat nav, but I'm not entirely sure that's taken us to the same place. The guy we were following, um, A, he's a little bit faster than me, and B, I got held up at traffic lights, um, coming off at, uh, M4 to go on to A34 at Newbury. So uh, while I was waiting at those lights, he obviously carried on going. He hadn't stopped. I've had to stop. So he's probably a mile or two ahead of me. Maybe more. Right, all I know is follow signs to the industrial estate, so go left. Go under the bridge that I just come across, the road. And then on the right hand side, apparently there's going to be a Wenwick container. A bit like what I've got on now, port cabin. And then it's up there on the right, apparently. That's literally all I know. I'm hoping that I can see someone when I get close by. Or see him. Um, or that the sign posted. Apparently there are signs saying something farm. Can't remember what the something was. Which don't help. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna have to, just have to wing it, I'm afraid. We're about three miles away. Got to go down some country roads, so uh, let's get going. Okay, so that sign is saying don't turn right, because there's a weight limit. And when I turn left, don't turn right after that as well. Also a weight limit. So I can only go one way. <laughs> and that's towards the, the B3004. There's also a low bridge set at 13.3 on. Oh yeah, I'd get under that without any port cabins on, but not with port cabins on. Okay, so here's the bridge here. Go under the bridge. So we're going back on ourselves. Okay, so somewhere within the next two miles or so, it should be on the right-hand side. That's what they were saying. Uh, Jasla Slavania, something like that, whatever that says. That's where we're going. It's some sort of Muslim festival. So apparently, because obviously the males and the females um, like are separate, they, they've ordered like two of everything. So you, se separate accommodation, separate meeting rooms, obviously separate toilets, that's standard. But yeah, apparently everything's been ordered twice. One, one for the males, one for the females. I don't know whether that's the same with music. No idea. I imagine there's more than one stage. Which would then give me the illusion that it's quite a big place. Right, we do have a car behind us, so I do want to slow down at some point just so I can get my bearings. Go for another mile. We said it was about two miles up the road. On the right. I see a portal cabin first and then it's on the right. That's what I was told. We're now on Caker's Lane. This is officially a lane that we're on. Oh, that's tight. We 
We're looking for a road sign, something farm. Right, 30 mile an hour speed limit, East Word Worldham, East Worldham. Three horseshoes. Well, that tree sticks out a bit. Ooh. I had to move over then last minute to avoid that tree. Right, I'm trying to read signs. Destination is in one mile up ahead. J Jalsa Solana. Oh, you said something about going down a hill. Matey boy did say something about going down a hill. Then you see the poor cabin on the right. And then you turn right. <coughs> One of the other guys also said, don't go fast because it comes up quite suddenly. seen any porter cabins yet. Half a mile until Satnav has reached its destination. Okay, I see a flag up there on the left, but I was told it's on the right. No, that's not a flag, that's someone in a dress. <laughs> that's a lady in a dress. I thought that was a flag then. <laughs> Right, there's a portal cabin there. So the next right. I've just seen the portal cabin. So I think it's the next right. Looking good. Yeah, here we go. Oakland's farm, yeah, that was it. Yeah, where do I go, right? Where do I go? Come round here. All right, mate. Huh? Where do you want it? Uh, you gotta go down there and then. All right, cheers, mate. Bless him. He's only gotta be what, 12, 13? Well, ah, maybe 15. I was like trying to talk to him when he was trying to get to the other door. <laughs> Right, at the moment, I can't get past these vehicles. Right, I believe that's one of our trucks up there, so I'm just going to go and have a word of them and uh, see what the crack is. Right, so mate boys in front of us, we're going to follow him up. There's a lorry coming down now as well. This uh, Manito forklifter needs to get out of the way. He's just blocking the, fork, the, the lorry from going. Can't go anywhere until that's all cleared up. Come on. See, I've got to try and be careful that I don't lose him. The guy I'm following. He went left and right and left. Just 
just going to put in the old sat nav to go back to the yard. I don't actually know if I am going back to the yard, but it'd be nice to know if I need a break or not before I get back there. Because uh, we're on two hours now. Well, over two hours. It'll take two hours to get back, so if we're not careful, we are going to reach four and a half hours before we get back. It's not good. You will arrive at your destination at 1634. Oh, this is a massive festival. There's loads of stuff going on. Apparently all six of these are going together. I've got three on me, he's got three on him. Where does he want me? Oh, there's the traffic. Yeah, wait there. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Right, we're done. They're all off, I've been there a while now. Got a drink of water. I've had so many liquids today. Where's my other one? Ugh. Got one more bottle left. Ugh. Deep down in the back of the fridge. There we go. One more left, ice cold. Ugh. Yeah, so, uh, Finally got done. Got this hat on because I'm sweating so much outside. It's just like trying to stop it from running into my eyes. Let's make a move. I'll say bye to my mate. Yeah, this is actually quite a big festival, man. There's a lot of work is here. A lot of stuff going on. Definitely a very busy, uh, a busy workplace. Apparently that massive thing right in front of us there is uh, for them to do their praying in. It's like a massive prayer tent. <laughs> that is absolutely hench as well. That is massive. Anyway, uh, I just noticed that my GoPro on my dash cam He's actually been recording in 1080p most of the day today, not 2.7K, which I normally record in. So apologies if the quality on the dash cam has been a little bit slightly less quality. I have now hired it to, to 2.7K. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna make much difference because uh, once we leave this site, I'm probably gonna end the video anyway. Uh, according to the sat nav, it's a two hour drive back. Um, and we've got just enough time to get back in the two hours. I also need to stop and get fuel. So I do need to do that. I need to stop and get fuel. ETA at the moment is six o'clock back in the yard. We're going to hit traffic at some point. And like I said, I've got to stop for fuel as well. So yeah, it's looking like a relatively late finish today. And tomorrow I'm back at Fairford, RAF Fairford, pick up another uh, cabin or two or three and taking it to um, Chelmsford. Now, did I come from the left or the right? I come from the right. I'm just trying to think then which way I come from. I definitely come from the right. Then it was down there. Yeah. Gotta try and remember which way I came in. And then we turned that way. Yeah, that's the way. That's the exit. Really big place this, really big. I did not expect it to be that big. Never yeah, mind. According to my uh, dashboard, it's saying it's 36 degrees. I don't think that is quite true, but it is warm. Really, really warm. 
I am so hot. I am looking forward to getting back home tonight and just having a nice cold shower. Like, actually cannot wait. I think this guy's gonna jot down my number plate on the way out. It's on the way in, that kid jotted it down. Oh. It's their way of uh, seeing what vehicles have been left inside. Don't tell me to stop, I won't stop, no, just staring at me. Okay. <laughs> right, we're gonna go left. Car decided to turn left, indicate left, very last minute. Ah, oh, right. Head back home, I suppose. Nice two hour drive ahead of us. I'm not gonna bother showing you it. I'm done for the day now. There's gonna be nothing else interesting to see. If there is, I'll, I'll hit record, but I think that's it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Slightly more interesting than the uh, than the last one I did because uh, I actually got to go on site. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.